Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can create this abstract animation with the new simulation nodes. You will need the experimental branch of Blender 3.5 Alpha for this to work. You can find a link to that in the description. So let's get started. First hit Shift A and add a plane. Go to Geometry Nodes and click on New. Delete the Group Input. Add a Simulation Input node. Alt Shift click on it. Now add a Simulation Output node and put it here. Now everything in this area will be simulated. Add an icosphere and plug it into the geometry here. Set the subdivisions to 3. The reason you can't see the icosphere right now is because you need to go to frame 2 and then back to frame 1. You can also just press play and then it will refresh every time the animation starts over. So I'm going to do that. Add a mesh to volume node and put it here. We also need a distribute points in volume node. Put that here, set it to grid and set the spacing to 0 0.05. Add an instance on points node, enable pick instance, add an icosphere and set the subdivisions to 3. Duplicate it, select both of the icospheres and press M, new collection and click on OK. Now let's go to shading, select the first icosphere, click on new, delete the principal BSDF, add an emission shader, Control shift click on it. I'm going to make this purple and set the strength to 7.5. I'm going to use Eevee here and make sure that ambient occlusion, bloom and screen space reflections are enabled. Under color management, make sure that the view transform is set to standard and the look to none. Let's also go to film and enable transparent. Go to rendered view, select one of the atmospheres and let's move it over here. Select the second atmosphere and click on new. Let's make this orange. Set the metallic to 1 and the roughness to 0. Go back to geometry nodes. Disable the collection in the viewport and in the render. If you can't find this option then go up here and enable it. Select the plane again and click and drag the collection in here. Plug the geometry into the instance. Enable separate children and reset children. Basically what this will do is it's going to distribute them randomly. Add a transform node and put it here. Set the scale to 0.25. Add a set position node and put it here. Let's also add a rotate instances node and we need to put that here. Add a mask wave texture and let's plug the height into the scale here. Let's also plug it into the offset here and set the scale to 0.1. Now add a wave texture Plug the color into the pivot point. Plug the height into the vector. Add a mix node. Set it to color and plug it into the scale. Duplicate the wave texture. Set it from bands to rings and from X to spherical. Set the scale to 20 and the distortion to 10. Plug the color into the factor. Duplicate the wave texture and plug the color into B. Set the scale to 2.5. Duplicate the mask wave texture and bring it down here. Set the scale to 20. Plug the height into the vector, into the distortion and into A here. Here set the Y rotation to 1.3. Let's also disable local space, otherwise this won't work. Add a set shade smooth node. And let's put that here. You also need to enable use cache and let the entire simulation run for the timeline at least once. If you don't do this then it won't render correctly. You don't have to do this but I'm going to set the frame rate to 60 and the end frame to 1000. If you also want to change the end frame to something longer then you will have to disable use cache and open the timeline here. Pause the simulation, go back to frame 1, save, go to file and click on revert. Revert, enable use cache again and let it play through the entire simulation. Save again and go back to layout mode. Hit Shift A and add a camera. Control or 0 to go into camera view. I think I'm going to leave the camera right here. These are the coordinates if you want to use them. Hit Shift A and add an empty plane axis. Let's save again and go to rendered view. Select the camera, go to the object data properties, enable depth of field. Here select the empty, set the offstop to 1.5 and the blades to 16. I just noticed that if you undo something then you will have to do this whole thing with the cache again. Now let's pause this, go to your viewport heading and go to the output properties. Select the resolution that you want and let's create an output folder. Set the file format to JPEG and set the quality to 100%. I will go to render and enable lock interface. Now let's save again and press Ctrl F12. Once it's done rendering, close this window and go to video editing. Make sure you're on frame 1, hit Shift A, image sequence, 
Go to the folder where you have the images, press A and enter. In the render properties, go to color management, set the view transform to filmic and the look to very high contrast. In the output properties, go to file format, select FFmpeg video, go to encoding and select MPEG4. Set the output quality to high quality, let save and press Ctrl F12. If you liked this tutorial, then you're probably also going to like the render this on screen now. I'll see you next time.